Going into the Australian and New Zealand tour, I had no idea what to expect. All I knew was that I was flying to the other side of the world for the first time ever. None of us really knew how big it was gonna be or how much fun it was gonna be. I am beyond excited to get on the road and perform for fans. Just being on a world tour, it blew my mind. It's just so amazing to have this opportunity. It's all for the fans. This is a new level for everyone. Before I left, I was stoked. I mean, we're going to Australia. I think it's absolutely insane that I'm going to Europe and Australia. That's across the world. What do you mean? We're going across the world? I have packed a lot to take on tour. I think I'm probably the worst packer ever. Ever. So I'm serious. Sometimes my mom gets worried because I'm going to be on camera and there might not be hair and makeup there. So I pack my twisting gel so I can like do my hair. And I also pack makeup with brushes and foundation and powder and stuff like that. So I know how to do my own makeup. Something that a lot of people don't understand is how much hard work is put into our shows. It feels like yesterday we were at the studio just rehearsing every single day trying to get these numbers down. Spending five, six hours a day together, you'd think it would get old, but it never gets old. You know, we're always joking around. We get along very well. The, the, the energy and everything, it just, it just clicks and it works. So we got it done fairly quickly because everything was just flowing. All the days would be jam-packed. We would have to get, you know, three group numbers done, two duets, solos, get them all choreographed and then practice them and then get the details done. It felt as if I was being brought into the family almost and that was really exciting for me. Having Jordan and Trevor as the choreographers for this show was really different. Everyone kind of got to, you know, add in their two cents. Everyone felt really comfortable. After our first tour, I was approached with Jordan to do the choreography and help kind of creative direct the show. Uh, and that I was blown away by. I mean, that's something I've always wanted to do. And I couldn't have asked for a better partner to do it with. You know, it's so funny because Trevor and I, first of all, we don't do scenes together. We don't speak to one another really in the next step. And we had never choreographed together. My solo on the tour was choreographed and finished a day before we did our first show in Australia. That was pretty tight. We, we really pushed the limit there. But we got it done, we made it happen, and it turned out great. And the solo got more and more comfortable the more I did it. That rehearsal, I felt like we needed just to kind of check in with our cast and make sure everyone's in a good mindset and they feel great about the numbers. I had no clue what it was gonna be like because I had never been on a big tour like that before. Once the show starts, you know, once the lights go down and we hear the fans scream, we're like, ooh, like that in itself just gives us an adrenaline rush. I think it's cool to be able to show our artistic side of what we do rather than what has to happen for the show. This is the first show that dancers are headlining a live stage tour and we're kind of going across the world internationally. I think that says a lot in itself. I'm super excited to just roam around each city. I'm also excited to try different foods in different places. Yeah, yeah. So you say you want party, say you want to hit the floor. Well, let's get it started. I love performing. Like, that's what I genuinely love to do. And that feeling that it gives you is a special feeling. It's insane. Walk up in the spot, you own it. Me and my team, you be rolling. Took a photo right now, is the moment. You can hold it. Shh, hold it. I'm so excited to go to Italy. That's hometown for me. I'm half Italian, so being in Italy, I'm just so excited for it. It just gets better and better, I think, every 
every tour. There's different things that you learn every tour. To travel to the other side of the world to do something that you love to do is a life-changing experience. It's so inspiring to see these fans that even speak different languages and that still want to come and see us and meet us. It gives us energy and it kind of pushes us to even go further than we think we can. Spain is going to be cool because it's very different. You know, it's a whole new language. It's a completely separate part of the world. I'm here, I'm doing what I love, I'm traveling the world, and I get to impact people's lives in such a genuine way. I've always kind of just said I always want to go to Australia, so I think before we left, I was looking forward to Australia the most just because it's so far, you know what I mean? It's down under. I'm just really excited to be going to places that I've just never been before. Okay. Oh. What do you think? Should I shave it? Yes? Alright, fine. I'll shave it. Get one last look at it. Just going out the window.